thank you, Chair. I would like to point out that the mood in which uh, Mr. Dominique addressed the meeting that we had before the trilogue uh, was quite gloomy. And he referred to the fact that uh, there had been a sort of agreement amongst the budget ministers in, uh, in the sense of a 2.02% increase, but that there was no agreement from certain member states. Uh, I think we should start thinking in the context of the crisis we are living. As we are speaking today, you know, uh, the, the economies not only of Greece but of Italy, of Spain, are in the verge of collapse. Uh, two banks in Italy have already collapsed. Uh, I think we should be more sensible in our discussions, really, and not be criticizing all that we cannot get. I think the Dominique set the tone of what the negotiations are going to be. And frankly, we should be a, a bit more, uh, use more common sense. Continue to ask for more money is not the sensible solution at this point in time. The more money we are asking will never get Europe, Greece, Italy and Spain out of the crisis. So why are we insisting in going ahead with this increase? Thank you. Oui. Uh, une... Perhaps I could respond to that, madam. There's a clear difference between a debate on next year's budget and the 2014-2020 perspectives. On the 2012 budget, I say this, of course, subject to our rapporteur's approval, I think it goes without saying that we can't ask member states for much extra money. We were very modest in our demands last year. I would remind you for that for the first time in the history of the European institutions, the European Parliament accepted the amounts decided by the Council without requesting so much as an extra euro. That demonstrates just how well we read the situation. Moreover, we are equally aware of the situation this year. This is something which the Council seems to refuse to understand for the time being. The Council doesn't want to see the difference between commitment and payment appropriations. And I must admit, I fail to understand why the Council seems so determined to disregard this fundamental difference. Politically speaking, we can decide whatever we like with commitment appropriations. We can cut them by 20% or increase them by 30%. We can do whatever we like. That's a political debate. However, when it comes to payment appropriations, we don't have the same latitude. These payments are compulsory in nature. Once the money has been implemented, it must be paid. And if we don't implement, that's default. As simple as that. So for legal reasons, as the Commission has made very clear, in 2012, the European Commission must make payments which represent an increase of 6% as compared to this year and if we fail to this the European Union will be in default rather like a Greek bank. So the question for 2012 is not whether we have uh, serious politicians who want to make savings and uh, irresponsible politicians want to throw it out of the window, not at all. What we have to do is to identify those areas in which there is room for political debate we assume our responsibilities here, this year, as we did last year. In reality, governments are simply acting out of pretense. They're taking decisions in the full knowledge of the fact they won't be able to implement them. We know that when it comes to payment appropriations, we are duty-bound by the law to announce figures beforehand which can be guaranteed. If we give in to the government on payment appropriations, we'll simply be backing them up in the lies which they'll be spreading around. That's the situation we find ourselves in. Go ahead, madam, if you want to reply. The amending budget shows us that we didn't spend all we said we had committed, Mr. Lamassoure. So this issue about the legal obligations that we have, I would like to think that we are so honest about 
uh, the, the commitments that we have made. The amending budgets and the money that's left at the end of the year doesn't really show that uh, what we show as commitments are really legal commitments. And this we should analyze, which we have never did, done. Très bien. Bon, ben voilà qui nous met... Uh... Fine. So I see that things are heating up for the negotiations. Good, I think we can wind up that item.